24 hour clock. In this lesson, you will learn to tell time using the 24 hour clock and perform simple calculations. Raymond is sleeping soundly but is about to be awakened by his alarm clock. There! Let's look at the time he set his alarm for. Assuming that it is in the morning, can you state the exact time? That's right! It is 7.15 am. This is telling time according to the 12 hour clock. However, do you know there is another way of telling time? Since there are 24 hours in a day, we can also tell time according to the 24 hour clock. If we were to write 7.15 am in the 24 hour format, we would write it as 0715. The first two digits represent the number of hours that have passed since 12 midnight. The last two digits represent the minutes. On a different day, Raymond was in class from 10 a.m. till 4.45 p.m. How much time did he spend in class? We shall first draw a timeline showing the time spent. We mark 10 a.m. or 10 hundred hours as the beginning of the class and 4.45 p.m. or 16.45 as the end of the class. The total amount of time Raymond spent in class is represented between these two markings. To make the time easier to find, we can actually split the time markings in terms of hours and then minutes. For example, here it is easier to find the time taken from 10 am to 4 pm, which is 6 hours, and add it to the time taken from 4 pm to 4.45 pm, which is an additional 45 minutes. Hence, we can then say that the time Raymond spent in class was 6 hours and 45 minutes. There is an alternative way to calculating the time taken. We know that Raymond spent time in class from 10 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. On the 24-hour clock, he was in class from 10 hundred hours to 16.45 hours. If we subtract 10 hundred from 16.45, we get 0.645. Remember that the first two digits are the hours and the second two digits are the minutes. Thus, Raymond spent 6 hours and 45 minutes in class. Later that week, Raymond was taking a break from work and began watching TV programs at 9.10 a.m. He spent 4 hours and 20 minutes. When did he stop watching the TV? We shall first draw a timeline. The 9.10 a.m. mark is when Raymond started his break. We need to add 4 hours and 20 minutes to the time. Do you remember how it was easier to split the time up in the previous example? We shall do that again with the time that is to be added. If we add the first 4 hours, then 20 minutes, the addition becomes simple. First, by adding 4 hours, we will reach the 1310 mark. Then adding 20 minutes from this point, we reach the 1330 mark. Or on the 12 hour clock, 1.30 pm. That's all there is to it. Alternatively, we can add 0420 to 0910. With this we get 13.30, which is referred to as 1.30 p.m. on the 12-hour clock. In this lesson, you have learned to tell time using the 24-hour clock and perform simple calculations.